useless as a predictor for coronary artery disease. LDL. LDL. Now, why is that? When you correct for triglycerides and HDL, okay, which, by the way, is a more important predictor of heart disease, LDL loses its significance. Let me help you out, Doc. You've got it all backwards. Triglyceride to HDL ratio is not more predictive of anything. It's just a bunch of nonsense. It's a bunch of noise. When everybody's LDL is high, yes, triglycerides and smoking and hypertension and inflammation and diabetes and whatever else can increase your risk when everybody's at a high baseline. But if you take away the LDL and now you've got a very, very low baseline, like people with hypobeta lipoproteinemia, no amount of triglycerides or HDL or smoking or diabetes or obesity or sedentary, not eating fiber, you know, all that stuff, no amount of that is going to give them atherosclerosis. LDL cholesterol is the causative agent of atherosclerosis. Go look up my studies. If you're on Instagram, you can DM me and say, what are the studies that show this and that? And I'll send it right to you. and We can have a long conversation about it. But this is just pure nonsense from somebody who's made his career on selling books, telling people that high cholesterol is okay and don't take statin medication.